As I said before, we're kind of living in a Fox America, it seems to me, is, you know, we spend all day long talking about um, what uh, someone said at the Republican National Convention when they're you know, seriously important things going on, and that's all because of kind of Fox News, isn't it? Well, I think they've clearly uh, helped set the agenda, for lack of a better word, for a pretty large segment of, uh, of the American population. Um, so they've been influential in that sense, but uh, it, it, who's to say, well, I mean, I guess what we are saying is that I think that if, if Fox feels that that's the right business model, it, it, Roger Ailes wasn't the only person who could make that so. And I want to bring you back to Jeff Jarvis. Uh, we were talking earlier about Roger Ailes and the towering figure that he is in TV news. You said he created Donald Trump in some ways. But if you consider Fox News Channel's positioning in this particular political cycle, it certainly evolved, right? Because they were getting pushback. Uh, certainly Megyn Kelly was from Donald Trump. And in one of the debates, they were putting up full screens, or I should, that's the industry lingo, excuse me. They were putting up fact-checking uh, messages that, that pushed back against a lot of the candidates its uh, stated positions, it was no longer just a cheerleader for the Republican Party, was it? Yes, but what I'm arguing is I think that, that Ailes uh, and Murdoch's Fox News set the tone of political discourse in this country, and that opened the door for the insurgency of Trump taking over the Republican Party. And yes, mm. they had mixed feelings about that. But I also think what's really going to be interesting now is, uh, by all rumors, uh, Lachlan uh, and, and his brother, uh, have long been aiming for Ailes, did not get along with him, want to get rid of him. They're the future of the company. The question is, will they change the tone and discourse of Fox News? Will they make it more, shall I say, respectable, decent, uh, less divisive, or will they double down? That, to me, is the big question. I note that Rupert Mur Murdoch himself is now fills in as chairman. It's his bully pulpit in the end. But at some point, if his sons, James and Lachlan, had the influence to get rid of Ailes, what I really want to see is what influence will they have on the channel going forward. Brian, let me just ask you in 10 seconds, does it matter who wins the election for Fox News profitability? Good question. I don't think so.